Working as a dental assistant is a hands-on job, so keeping your hands clean and hygienic is an essential part of your day-to-day -day activities. There are two great ways to clean your hands to a standard that is acceptable in a dental setting, either using an alcohol-based hand rub or washing your hands with soap and water. Deciding when to use either method can be determined by considering these basic principles. Plain soap and water should be used after using the toilet and when your hands become visibly soiled. An alcohol-based hand rub is great to use at all other times, even if your hands are visibly clean. These products reduce the bacteria on your hands, require less time, are more accessible and far gentler on your skin than frequent washing with soap and water. The World Health Organization developed a program called the Five Moments for Hand Hygiene, which basically outlines the right time and the right way to perform hand hygiene. Let's take a look at these now. Whether you are cleaning your hands using soap and water or an alcohol-based hand rub, it is important that you do so in the most thorough way. Both methods are basically the same, apart from wetting and drying your hands when using soap and water. The entire cleaning process should not be rushed, paying careful consideration to those parts of your hands that are difficult to clean and can often be missed. Following this simple routine will ensure your hands are as clean as possible before going about your work. Now let's look at the right time to perform hand hygiene. Performing hand hygiene before touching a patient protects them from harmful germs carried on your hands. It is important to note that gloves do not replace the need for hand hygiene. If gloves are required, hand hygiene must be performed prior to putting them on. Hand hygiene performed before a procedure once again protects the patient from harmful germs, including their own, from entering their body. Remember to always perform hand hygiene immediately before putting on gloves and starting a procedure. Once hand hygiene has been performed and gloves applied, only equipment required for that procedure should be touched. Hand hygiene should be performed immediately after removing gloves on completion of a procedure or after touching a contaminated surface. This protects the patient, yourself, other staff members and the environment from harmful germs. If you move away from the patient during a procedure for any reason, whether you need to collect additional equipment or check the patient's records on the computer, you must remove and dispose of your gloves and perform hand hygiene. Don't forget that when you return to the patient, you need to perform hand hygiene once more prior to putting on new gloves. Hand hygiene should always be performed after touching your patient to protect yourself and the environment from harmful patient germs. Even if you have to move briefly away from the patient for whatever reason, you must apply hand hygiene to maintain a safe environment. Hand hygiene should be performed after touching the patient's surroundings, even if the patient was not touched in any way. This is because the patient's surroundings become contaminated with patient organisms during the procedure or treatment. Effective hand hygiene is the single most important strategy in preventing healthcare associated infections. Remember the five moments for hand hygiene, before and after touching a patient, before and after a procedure or body fluid exposure risk, and after touching surroundings. For more information about topics covered in this video, please contact ADA New South Wales Practice Services. ADA New South Wales has produced this series of videos as a guide only and is not a substitute for site-specific training and education. All dental practices should develop their own policies and procedures and conduct appropriate training that is relevant to their setting and consult relevant guidelines and standards to ensure compliance if required.